Pastor Johnny Harsh. And it's Sunday, a time to share God's Word. We thank you so much for being here with us on God's Freedom Ministries. I pray that since the last time I've seen you on the website here, that you've had a great week, that you have felt God's hand upon you, and that you have received His blessings. Today, we're going to look at one of the most important psalms uh, in the book of Psalms. Written by King David. It's called the Prayer of Protection by many, many of God's children. And over and over again, I have heard so much testimony how people who have stood and prayed on this word have kept their life in unbelievable, difficult situations. A lot of our soldiers, in fact, sometimes people call this the soldier's prayer. There is testimony after testimony of soldiers who every single day while serving in combat duty have prayed this prayer. And I have heard many, many testimonies that not one soldier uh, lost their life or was even injured in battle. So I believe that God's word is true. I don't doubt it for a second. And we're going to share this today with you. And I pray that you're going to receive a blessing and it's going to be life-changing for you. Let's pray. <clears throat> Father, I thank you for this day. I thank you for your word, Lord. Your word is our Savior, Jesus Christ. It's the living word. It's alive today just as it was when you first gave it to us. And we thank you for your son today, Lord. We thank you for those who are listening and watching this video broadcast today. Bless them, Father. Bless them with your word. Open up their hearts and minds to it. And just touch them in a way they've never been touched before, Father. Bless me today also, Lord, as I deliver this word to our family and friends. And Father, we all say we love you in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I hope if you've uh, tuned in to God's Freedom of Mysteries that you've got your Bible. Uh, maybe you've got a pen and paper to take notes. And what we're going to do first is just read through Psalms 91. If you've never read it before, uh, you're going to be surprised at some of the promises God makes in here. It is a prayer of protection. So let's get busy. Open up the Word of God. Psalms 91, I'm going to be reading from the New Living Testament. Those who live in the shelter of the Most High will find rest in the shadow of the Almighty. This I declare of the Lord. He alone is my refuge, my place of safety. He is my God, and I am trusting Him. For He will rescue you from every trap and protect you from the fatal plague. He will shield you with His wings. He will shelter you with His feathers. His faithful promises are your armor and protection. Don't be afraid of the terrors of the night, nor fear the dangers of the day, nor dread the plague that stalks in darkness, nor the disaster that strikes at midday. Though a thousand fall at your side, though ten thousand are dying around you, these evils will not touch you. But you will see it with your eyes. You will see how the wicked are punished. If you make the Lord your refuge, if you make the Most High your shelter, no evil will conquer you. No plague will come near your dwelling, for He orders His angels to protect you wherever you go. They will hold you with their hands to keep you from striking your foot on a stone. You will trample down lions and poisonous snakes. You will crush fierce lions and serpents under your feet. The Lord says, I will rescue those who love me. I will protect those who trust in my name. When they call on me, I will answer, and I will be with them in trouble. I will rescue them and honor them. I will satisfy them with a long life and give them my salvation. I pray that as I read those verses out loud to you, that even now you're thinking, oh my gosh, with God on my side, how can I ever get in trouble? A lot of the things that we read about in that, that uh, chapter, it doesn't say that we're not going to have problems. It doesn't say that there's not going to be some trouble around us. But what it does say is that if we love God and trust in Him, He is going to protect us. The difference between us and people who don't believe in Jesus Christ is that we get through all these things. And we get through unharmed. We are delivered by the great Deliverer Himself, God. So I pray that these words are going to be hidden in your heart. 
I know of a lady who is a retired pastor. She's in her late 80s right now. She told me one day that she was in the upper years of grade school and every single day before she went to school, before she left the house, her mom would pray the Psalm 91 over her. And she thought all the kids' moms were doing that. Uh, she raised her boys doing the very same thing. And she has had a very wonderful, wonderful, charmed life. When I use the word charmed, I mean it's been blessed by God because she trusts in Him. There have been many stories. You could look up Psalm 91 on the internet and find a lot of stories of our soldiers clear back to World War I who prayed this prayer every single day and there's been testimony after testimony that not one single soldier uh, not only did their, their, was their life spared but they were not, weren't even injured so I believe in this I believe in it with all my heart I read it often I pray over it I share it all the time with many many people I do want to read you one story that I uh, heard about it's about a modern day story of how it helped uh, a son who was over in the Middle East, over in Iraq. And let me read this to you. An army mom was helping her son's unit get ready to deploy. Because of what this unit does and where they would be, they were expecting extremely high casualties. 50% of the unit killed in action or severely injured. This praying mom gave the soldiers bandanas printed with Psalm 91 and made them promise to say this psalm every day. Say it, that means out loud. During their deployment, day after day, both officers and soldiers gathered and prayed this psalm. The unit was attacked almost daily with IEDs, mortars, or snipers. Countless devices never detonated. Mortars exploded nearby with no shrapnel injuries, and their Humvees were ambushed with no harm. After almost a year in Iraq, all 150 soldiers came back with not even an injury. So this story stands as a testimony to the power of God's protection. It says, Plead God Psalm 91 shield daily. God is willing and able to keep his words of covenant promise.